All right. Hello and welcome to the Eden podcast. Uh, starting a little later today. Um, we had some life events, but um, we're still here. Um, Absolutely. Going to uh, today. It's going to be a little bit shorter. Um, we didn't have a like a, a guest scheduled, um, and it seems like there's certainly you know plenty to talk about with the Eden Block producer that some somebody did cause some some waves. Who Screw did that, that guy? I don't like him. Trouble. Kick him out. That's what I say. Boot him. Uh, anyway, I'm being a little facetious, but um, yeah. So I don't know, Chris. You, funny, you've been, you've been, um, you know, like you were saying, you've been, you've been camp counseling. You've been being a good citizen in your community, and you're not as, as privy to all the the hubbub. I I've been missing out, man. This is the I yeah. I, I this is the most behind I've been on uh, Eden chat and Telegram. You know, a few hundred messages a day type thing. And oh, I, I don't shame have, on you. Uh, so I'm actually kind of out of the loop, and I, I generally am supportive of the BP, but I, I mean, you know, so in terms of the the reasoning behind some of the detractors, I know there was some concern and caution before it happened, and it seemed all very fair and reasonable. Um, none of it seemed like a deal killer to me, because my approach was always, if we can generate some revenue, just generate some revenue, just short term, not a big, you know, we want to be a BP forever. I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Um, it seemed like a good call. Right. It's like it's like using the flashlight approach. There's no laser beam to this is what we're trying to get to with an Eden BP. No, no. Mm -hmm. It's just nice wide, a lot of possibilities in that swath, right? But for now, at the, the base of the light, it's some revenue. If we can get some revenue, that's a win. Yeah, I, that's that's exactly how I was looking at it, you know. Um and I, I tried to outline that in the sort of the post that I made on the forums of just like, hey. You know, if it gets enough votes to be in the top 21, I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to start thinking that because myself and some other, you know, Eden members are running the business side of this thing that, you know, we're going to be the self-appointed, you know, voice of Eden um, or anything like that. Um, and I think that's the other element. And I wonder if it's just, you know, I mean, maybe it was a maybe it's as simple as a naming problem. I've been thinking about that today because I, I think people are seeing it weird. Like you're saying, you know, people are taking it in different ways to mean different things. And maybe because I just thought I'd call it Eden BP because that's what we're donating to. But that's how I saw it because it's not the Eden BP. It's the Agenix and Block Time block producer that is like every other block producer has its pitch, right? Yeah, whether it's gray mass that they build awesome software, you know, as an example, and you know, other tons of other stuff. I don't want to belittle any anything anybody's doing. I don't need any more shit. That's for sure. sure. Um, and you know, or vote buying is obviously the big hot button. You know, a bunch of BPs just hey, vote for us, you get a return on your EOS. Right. Our pitch is we're putting together a node. We had some early, you know, uh, commitments from, um, you know, Kevin at Block One and others that they would vote for it. And so we knew we wouldn't have to do like a massive marketing campaign, which is, again, typically another cost and time and energy sink for other block producer nodes. We don't have that. Making a post, frankly, not going to market it that much um, outside of just, uh, you know, talking to the few people I know that that you know can vote for it or have some proxies hoping the community kind of does that again whether they want to or not no big deal and then yeah would generate some revenue uh you know having been behind running you know the elections so far you know the first one and now the upcoming election um looking at frankly chris what you were able to do with that first budget and just to me uh what i think is a is, is turning into a resounding success, the power up thing and just how you know, a thousand EOS, I'm not talking a lot, you know, mm -hmm. was able to really do something useful. Yep. They also come from the business side of things where nobody gives you money until you've proven that you deserve it. <laughs> there's like, there's no free money. There's no free rides. And I know there's a, there's an ongoing carried resentment toward B1 and all that about that. These promises, 
you know, but I, I think our big thing is we were trying to like, you know, we're trying to move on from that. We've, you know, Eden's accepted that no one owes us anything at this point. And this is our way of trying to be a solution. Yeah. A solution to governance and a solution to um, basically creating more value, you know, for, for the, for the EOS mainnet uh, token and, and community. And so, you know, we need a resume the way I look at it. And I think it then becomes a no brainer. You know, if we can put enough evidence, if you will, in front of whomever, the block producers, um, block one, who knows? I mean, whales, frankly, you know, I mean, just people who have sizable stakes uh, in EOS mainnet and they see that, geez, for every dollar so far that's gone into Eden, you know, the rate of return is, you know, $1.20. Um, and on top of that, for you know because there's intangibles that won't be easily measured just only in token price and of course mm -hmm. crypto speculators are batshit crazy but that's another thing but you know <laughs> there's things we can certainly measure standards yeah. out there you know uh we can attribute you know a five percent increase in new accounts created um that we can you know safely attribute to these projects and initiatives that were funded all that stuff software's been built all things considered valuable Mm -hmm. Then I think it becomes a totally different conversation. And, and actually what I like about it even better is I don't see it as a handout. It's a pitch like right. any business. I mean, does a business see investment from VCs as a handout? No, it's not a handout. I mean, they get equity in return, a little different exchange. And that's obviously not something I, you know, there, there, there won't be really any equity in Eden available, but uh, you get my point. It's yep. definitely more of a, this is a business opportunity that we'd like you to participate in and here's why uh, so that's that's what i was thinking you know i'm looking at the elections we've gone from a thousand to you know about 2500 tokens available in this next one cool mm -hmm. um, you know this is all coming out of dan i don't think people realize dan's funding the entire clarion team out of his pocket you know whatever you think about him it is what it is but he's doing it um, and so I don't like being dependent on Dan. I work with Dan, you know, I'm, I'm trying to take ownership. That's, I guess we shouldn't be my dependent own. on anybody. I mean, that's, right. that's one of the principles. Frankly. In, if this whole Eden thing, like, it, it brings us back to like, what are we even doing? What's the point, right? What, what mm -hmm. are we, what, what is the, cause it seems that's a bit fuzzy still. And that's highlighted by the fact that there's some, uh, ambiguity or lack of clarity as to what the BP is even doing because we don't necessarily have this focus and I it, it was more equal animals it was Dan's book and one of the big that's predicated all of this and one of the big points in that book is independence we want to be mm -hmm. independent and not dependent on anything mm -hmm. so yeah like, it, it, this is what we're trying to do right we even needs to be self-funded if we can be and that that's that's you know definition of independence mm -hmm. and we even if we did if it, inflation happens and the BPs give us the 0.25 is that the ideal outcome forever? What happens if they just turn it off and right. he never worked on any sort of other form of, of, of self-funding? I mean, is the whole organization done? We get 10,000 people, we get to this max limit where you know, tons of people involved and all of a sudden, sorry, uh, you're all screwed because the VP's changed their mind. We don't want that either, either, right? We need to work on getting ourselves set up. Yeah, I, I yeah. completely agree. I, I just, I, I, don't, I don't see how any of that's sustainable. I'm just, just, you know, I guess, uh, trying to, you know, play on goodwill or whatever. Um, you're still going to be evaluated uh, as we've, we've been saying, you know, um, and yeah, I mean, also we're starting a little bit behind, right. If you think about it, cause if you, you know, are taking 0.25% of, of, you know, inflation, you know, that's, by its very nature, it's increasing supply, right? The big thing that's, you know, crypto heads are typically pretty yeah. anti with fiat money. Um, you start in the hole a little bit by using that money, yeah. right? Because you just had to decrease value slightly. Um, I still could very much be worth it. And I'm not anti, I don't have an opinion one way or another on any of it. I, I'm just going, this is my little way of trying to bring a, uh, you know, a, a contribution to, move in the right direction, take advantage of, you know, I learned something from a mentor long ago when I was younger and his big model was do what's in front of you. 
you know, it's kind of a take on the, like one brick at a time. How do you eat an elephant? You know, one bite at a time. You know, if you're constantly looking at only the biggest picture, um, it can be overwhelming. Everything can feel like a failure. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those, you know, you, you tend and, to, and you don't know where to start. You don't know where yeah. to start. Like it, it's that first step, like you say, right? Like it's, uh, even the analogy I use about the flashlight and the laser, I mean, mm-hmm. it's the closest to the, to the light that you're working on right now, not the what's in the distance, yep. you know, Rand, Rand, Randall had a good question. So he's, uh, he's asked in the chat here, is it possible to change the BP's name? It would shut some people up just asking. So now a little bit why though, like if this BP, like maybe you can like, so this BP is meant to support Eden, like the, the, like you've mm-hmm. just described. The whole genesis of creating this was that it's built and and it's launched for Eden. So, I mean, if we call it something else, then I mean, you just you know, Dominic BP donate right. Eden. I think it's going to be confusing, and part of it is, frankly, I don't want to do any more marketing. <laughs> so, in a sense, well, I feel well, like it markets itself. Why is the name a problem? That's what I don't, and this is where I, I just missed the chat. So I, I'm sure there's good reasons. I just, I haven't heard what they are, but what, what's the, can someone, maybe Josh, you might know, is there like, what, who can summarize what the problem is with the name? Uh, well, I, w- I was tuning into the crypto, right? Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I was tuning into the crypto writer podcast today. One of them this morning, it was a BP round table. And the first question that was asked was basically like, hey, what do you guys think about this new Eden BP? Uh, which was a great question to be asking, you know, a group of uh, block producers. And and so right away, I could tell by people's replies that they they had a misunderstanding of that, that it's Eden, uh, the, the entity or the organization, which does or doesn't really exist actually <laughs> as a legal entity um, running running the BP, but what it really is is an initiative uh, of a new BP to dedicate funding to Eden, which any BP could do. And uh, so this one, so the name in that case has confused people as to what's actually happening. Uh, but with what you just explained, Dominic, it makes total sense to name it that in with your explanation that the purpose of this thing is to dedicate funds to to Eden. And so when I heard you say that a moment ago, I was thinking, well, what if what if many, the majority of BPs pooled their money together in this way, and then uh, they and their staff participated in the elections because the money would be greater than what they're able to do on their own with, with the BP funding that they have. Mm. Uh, it could be, this could be, and seen as an example of the Eden BP leading the charge by example of what other BPs might might be able to do. Originally, I was a little bit, and there's probably just lack of information and needing to uh, feel it out more, but I was a little bit resistant to, I thought it was a little bit of a st- distraction to do the BP thing. But the more I think about it, like what has any other Eden member had to do to get this going? Like it's been pretty much effortless <laughs> Not for everyone else. <laughs> Nothing. And if it's not really Eden doing it per se, uh, the, the organization, then nope. all of the contention that seems to be coming from that is just misplaced. It's a simple, like, if you vote for this, you think it's a good idea to put your EOS toward pushing this particular BP into a rewards position because you like the value prop that there's a commitment to do this. It's been laid out. That's sort of the pitch, right? Um, if you don't, you don't vote for it. Simple. It's not costing Eden anything except some of my time, which I think I've already given enough to the movement as it is. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not sure what anybody can say about that. Like, what else should I be doing? I'm doing as much as I possibly humanly can day in and day out. Um, yeah. I, I mean, and it's not some short-sighted, like, we've given up on better funding. Now, of course we have Right. Well, how does that equal that? How, how did that leap? I don't, where'd that leap even come from? It doesn't it kind of boggles my mind. Like, they, one doesn't have anything to do with the other. It was just like, it was an opportunity. I took it. I happen to know some people who run nodes. They're really, really good at it, really efficient. They're the ones who offered to me when they saw the discussion. I just facilitated it with them. Done. And it's, and it's not like, and that's the other thing. This came from, I mean, the community was talking about it. It wasn't like you all of a sudden piped in. I don't, I don't recall. Maybe I don't think that's how it went. Maybe it does. My memory is fuzzy. No, but it came from Kevin. 
Yeah, Kevin, we were all talking Kevin about prompted this. the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were talking about a proxy before, like in advance, proxy talk was common. I, I never thought BP. I was more thinking proxy made the most sense. Um, but then, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Kevin, and because I, I think because I'd asked him in chat, would you give your proxy to a BP? And he said, "Fly." It was a no. Right. He, he he wouldn't give his votes to our to their to our proxy to then deal with, but he would. That's where he's just the BP thing. So yeah, I mean, I I don't see. And, and in context of that, it was to support Eden. I, I, I still don't understand the problem. Yeah. And I did, I mean, there's only one decision maker right now in Eden. Stan. That's it. Until we have our first official election, Dan is, you know, the, the Eden leadership, if you will. Um, so, uh, of course, I ran it by him to see if he had any direct opposition um, but you know, uh, I'm also trying, like, uh, I want to like throw Dan out there. This isn't Dan's doing either. It's just an opportunity. I made sure there wasn't something like glaring, um, from his perspective, you know, as a courtesy, but as others have said, if you guys want to go and put something like this together, do it. Maybe you can do it better than I can. Please gladly withdraw mine. You know, maybe you can. I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's about, you know, free, free market. You know, this is an individual endeavor. This is coming from an EOS community member who happens to be a member of Eden. So therefore I care enough to go through the process of doing it. And it's, it's, it's incremental. I think what we maybe need to spread this around more that this is just a, a baby step to try to get some funding because we have none of our own. And, whether, you know, the whole, well, what happens if you end up in the top 21 and then you've got a BP who like say Aaron, like Aaron or one of those guys who have their own BP and then they're also make it to the board and they're in a position of influence and we have official elections and there's that a conflict and it's like, you know what, <laughs> that's not right now. Like, sure, we should figure that out and yes, we should have a discussion, but that doesn't mean we should stop doing what we just did or what you just did because that now is going to generate revenue today. Like those are all future problems. Why would we let a future problem prevent us from doing something today that's beneficial today? That doesn't include any of those future problems. We're not in the top 21. We don't have an official board. We don't have any of that stuff. Any of those potential conflicts, they don't exist yet. So will we stop doing something today because there might be a problem tomorrow? No, we won't. Let's let's figure that, let's solve for those problems today. Let's come up with a solution. Let's figure out if there's a rate limiter. And if this BP becomes in the top 21, we cut it. We would deregit and we like because we don't we yeah. just prevent ourselves from being there so there isn't this perceived conflict. I'm perfectly okay with that. I think a lot of people are, but it doesn't mean we've got to shit on the idea. Not saying people are shitting on it, but we, we I think we need to be open to the fact that this is a good thing today, and let's just work about the problems that might come tomorrow. That's that's how you, progress happens, right? Or you know, or maybe people don't think it's a good idea. That's fine, but I I've personally felt like the tone was was. Um, suggestive of of potentially nefarious motive um so so that's a little troubling to me personally um, but, but i think the bulk of it's just been misunderstandings i tried to be really clear in the thing guys this is to help eden if it's a problem i'm gonna take it down like it's gonna defeat the purpose of why i did it if you think i'm gonna get rich from 10% after i deal with the corporate things and other crap i have to handle and taxes and whatnot you're crazy okay i'm not that poor you know i have an mba i can get a good job like I'm so, not is it, is it, so that when you mentioned nefarious so is that just directed at you personally or was that at eden nefarious? i think it felt that way like 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 i somehow um it, it felt like 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 there was some accusation as if you know i've gone and you know put myself forward as the authority of eden and acted acted oh. as if i'm eden and it, representing it, eden and therefore it, it was unfair because i didn't get everybody's permission which would be true if that was the yeah. perspective i was moving from um i would agree with that I, I don't have that authority yet whose permission do you need to get we don't have an official anything yet so who are you asking and i i paid attention to a lot of conversations leading up to this and it wasn't I mean, I think anybody who might be saying that weren't paying attention, fair enough, because there's a lot to pay attention to in those Telegram sure. chats. But that conversation was not, it was a lot of people about oh, how can we do it? What are the possibilities? You 
are the one who said, hey, I think I've got somebody who can do this. We can do it economically and generate funds. And if no one says, you've got a arterial motive, Dominic. How dare you? Right. I mean, that's not the case. So anybody would suggest that wasn't it was case. circulated. I think most people were just amazed at the fact that somebody could get something done quickly, <laughs> like which is frustrating in and of itself. But well, it is EOS. I'll, I'll leave that. Um, <laughs> You know, but well, there is an authority, though, Chris, and I hope people understand that. Dan, well, there is an authority. No, but true. He's self-appointed himself in the top position here, Yeah. you know, for the first year. That's been done. That's Dan started it. You're, you're here because you're following Dan. I mean, yep. I don't know, like it or not. That's what it is. I don't want well, nowhere. There's an illusion there. It was his uh, book. We wouldn't be doing this without that guy. Mm -hmm. That's why in EOS Gov, some people are like, they throw these slights out like we're like they're, they're debating, you know, what people pieces of Eden. They're like talking about it like it. And they're like, well, what about Dan? And we can't blah, blah, blah. It's like, don't support it. Conversation wouldn't even happen if it weren't right. for the guy that you're somehow questioning. So like it's moot, like just accept the fact that you may have issues with Dan in the past. Fine. But as far as Eden goes, we wouldn't even be having this conversation if it wasn't for that guy. So respect what he's done, move on if you can. And, you know, let's work moving forward. There's like, this is, and that's the other thing people, if they're questioning the, these ulterior motives and long-term visions of Eden, again, we're Eden on EOS. Like we're not, this isn't Eden to save the planet. We all, a lot of us at least think it could. A lot of us are here because we see the bigger picture, but the only way that's gonna ever manifest is by being successful first on EOS. So we got to like baby steps. What's the first step in front of us? And it's the EOS. Let's fix things on EOS. Then we'll have something that, like you say, we'll prove our case, right? Our pitch will not be dependent on the previous success we've already had, not just these fluffy ideas of what it can be. I mean, no one's going to absorb that. That's not going to go mm -hmm. anywhere. True. And I mean, I, I think the other aspect is it's just uh, everybody wants the discussion, okay? The discussion to me personally is totally inspiring. I'd love to see people engaged again. I mean, let's face it. Governance was dead. It was mm -hmm. dead. I mean, from what I saw, maybe I was missing special telegrams. I'm not allowed in. But, you know, it was just a foregone conclusion that it ain't happening here, folks. You know, Dan, you know, makes his, you know, move to, to leave block one. Uh, pretty much my understanding from conversations with him to do this pretty much the, the major reason i'm sure there are others and i'm not privy to everything dan so i'm not speaking for him but that's my perspective he moved because he wanted to pursue his vision here for more equal animals he wants to see it manifest in eos because he created the thing he wants to see it work you know and then from there it's up to the community to decide to accept it or not it's up to the community to decide to join it or not it's up to the community to decide to fund it or not. There's, you have agency here. No one's forcing this on you. No one's running around with some banner saying, you know, bow to your new overlords. You know, as of right now, we're a group of almost 150 people who are supposed to be gathered around a uh, protocol for consensus and a peace treaty, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's what we are. In the background, Dan's, you know, building out an operating system. That's from Dan and Clarion. This is Dan and Clarion's initiative. He's paying for the developers and doing all of that. He's going to make that available to any community, anywhere on earth, anytime, eventually. Right. Um, so that's that. This implementation, he's decided he's going to place himself in the lead for frankly, because he's paying for it. And it's kind of like his thing to play with. He's the Genesis member. Yeah. And by very nature, I think all communities are going to need to start that way. And it's going to make sense. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, there has to be a first member always, right? First node, if you will. The mm -hmm. first node's going to need to take authority because no one's going to join without the first node. So you've already kind of basically voluntarily stated that you're here because of that person. You like what what they're doing and then as soon as your first election comes or however you choose to do it you yeah. know there's always going to be the bylaws that's the customization right now dan's made the bylaws so mm -hmm. you know we go from there i don't know 
Well, interesting comment uh, again from Randall. Uh, he sort of it looks, you know, he had a discussion with a community member and, you know, what are you hearing in the streets? And they think the Eden is bad because they're going to be too good. And there's some comments, you know, good in what way, basically, like good at just not playing the devote buying games or just good at being a successful BP. And it's just, I didn't, I don't catch the, the good here, but then they make a point later that it, the current BPs might be upset and will burn a bridge potentially by having our own bp um and because most of the ones in power do not care about eos and the owners of the eos uh, on those exchanges are apathetic don't want to care participate in governance uh they just want the price to go up and uh so yeah so to me it's like th that's the pr if, if eden the last thing we want to do is fold our cards and back away because we might piss off a shitty exchange BP. I don't even care if you're listening shitty exchange BPs because you're probably not because you don't give a shit. But I mean, those, <laughs> those are the people, I mean, those are the BPs that I could give a fuck if they're going to like, oh, we better, you know, Binance has got to agree with this, you know, if we're going to get our 0.25%. If that's, I mean, that's what we're trying to, we, we don't want you guys to be BPs quite fairly. Like some BPs who are exchanges might be okay. Not all of them from what I can tell. And so, you know what, if I don't want to have to kiss their ass, it's like, that's not dependence, the dependence I want to have. Like, there's always going to be some dependence here. I definitely want to be independent of the BPs who are exchanges. <laughs> yeah, and again, because I thought not... it was decentralized network and people were voters when they get to determine that. Go ahead, Josh. Yeah, well, the B, these exchange BPs, as far as we know, are not recycling any of their rewards in, back into the ecosystem, right? Exactly. I don't know. I'm not aware. But I mean, they're... I'm, I get, you know, their argument is, yeah, they're recycling them back to the token holders. So, and, you know, token right. holders have basically used the BPs for a sort of DeFi instrument. <laughs> which, which, hey, I mean, you know, if that's, that's what people want to do, I mean, that's their right. You know, I don't, I don't have any issue with any of it, I guess. I, I, I guess maybe I'm a little more idealistic in, in believing that the whole point of this blockchain experiment and decentralization and decentralized organizations is autonomy vote with your dollars vote with your tokens all of these things but at the same time i'm not sure why there can just be such i don't know it's hard to explain i mean I, you know again maybe i'm being sensitive so i, I don't know I mean, what was your, what was other people's impression of the dialogue today in the Eden on EOS channel? Did it just feel like a spirited, you know, well-placed discussion or did it feel like there was some sort of, you know, kind of disdain and anger about the action? Josh, I mean, it didn't, it didn't seem very pleasant to me um, in, in many cases. I mean, a lot of good critical thinking, but I think a lot of it was all coming from a misunderstanding. Uh, one, like almost 100% that this, any, any Eden member who runs a BP could have said uh, the same thing. We're going to uh, do, do this. And we're going to ask uh, Kevin Rose and block one to to vote for us and everyone else uh, because we're, we're doing this to support Eden. Mm -hmm. And it's those BPs are not owned by Eden. I don't even know if Eden can legally own anything at this point anyway. No. Um, and th it, those BPs wouldn't have the name Eden. And so I think just the dis how the discussion unfolded, things having the name Eden, people didn't clearly understand what, what it is. And so they just jumped to conclusions and didn't think it through enough. And that's um, the part. And to me, when someone jumps to conclusions, that's the impression that they're assuming nefarious purpose rather than asking questions like, this seems a little weird. Is this an Eden block producer? Like, is this, I'm an Eden member. Is this my block producer? Nobody ever asked that. You know, nobody ever tried to get clarification. It was just immediately like a, sort of a how dare you sentiment is what I read. I don't. How dare you, as Greta would say. <laughs> we should throw up the Greta Thunberg meme. Yeah, around the A to BP, yeah. Well, so how do we resolve it? I mean, I've only got 19 minutes left here, but I'm curious, how, how do we fix this? I mean, I miss, I got to get caught up on this chat. I won't be able to do it to the weekend, but 
like is do we just need to communicate more and make it clear that this is a short term and we should maybe start a forum with grievances that we can sort of sort of like deliberately work through and be a little more constructive mm -hmm. about it well that's, I mean, that's why i posted the thread on the forum combination okay. of i wanted there to be a public contract if you will social contract saying this is what i'm going to do so that it was clear the purpose which i thought it was clear now granted it, it may not be happy to add clarification that's why the thread's there you know i didn't see anything today okay. that questions about real clarification so i i haven't answered I'll, I'll keep checking um but i was also just a bit disappointed and actually the worst negative feedback i got from people was the eden on eos channel guys is supposed to be our like entrance way right it's supposed to be where we direct people who want to learn more who hopefully there's Eden members, you know, kind of just monitoring it to some degree, willing to answer questions, talk with people about things. Um, and instead, this all happened there instead of in the Eden members channel. And there were a lot of non Eden members wanting to give their strong oh, opinion. Oh, definitely. Yeah. There's a couple, couple questions here. Maybe we could hit this and come back to what Chris was hinting at. Uh, Elias says, so this BP cannot go higher than 22nd goal is to break into the paid only and then randall said goal is to be uh, number one um i i mean the goal was to harvest the opportunity presented by kevin and block one period i looked 100 million eos they vote with that automatically leads to a little over two i put us at like 41 uh as a standby it puts a little over 200 eos a day into the project so therefore, 100 and so call it 200 round, that would be 160 EOS a day accumulating to be donated to Eden. That would be 4,800 a month, give or take. I thought, wow, that's almost 20 grand. You know, 20 grand a month is not garbage. I mean, which other EOS based organization, advocacy organizations got 20,000 a month flowing into it? I think the answer is zero. The point is we have nothing otherwise. So right. it's, it, I, I just, that's where I just have a really hard time understanding anything negative. And that's where I just fall back on this. It's just a misunderstanding of the purpose of what we're trying to do. And the name is throwing people off because there isn't really an Eden yet. And there at least an official formation of one. So I get, I, to me, it just seems like it's a comms problem and a, and a misunderstanding of intention that is, you know, easily rectified. I think, again, I haven't read all the, all the hate, but I think it can. Yeah, hopefully, it can be cleared up, and the narrative can change, and maybe the narrative can go more in the direction of who's going to be the second VP, you know, to to do the same thing. Mm. Um, but I see it. I, uh, I think it was it's Boyd. You know, um, you know, hey, uh, it's the name. My understanding is we're all allowed to use the name. Um, Dan was very clear with that. Um, you know, I just want to reduce the marketing and reduce the possible confusion for people who might want to vote for it. Again, you know, if everybody as a community feels really, really strongly, um, fine. You know, I can add a new EOS account. It was also a 12 <laughs> character thing. So it just kind of worked. Yeah. But, um, but, okay. But here's the thing though. If so, but honestly, if I'm going to go through all of that, I'm probably just no, 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 going to no. shut it down. I mean, I just, this is, kind of bullshit frankly i think yeah no no it's so like I, it's like again. splitting hairs because what you didn't do it do it go do it no I I, to be, I okay know. so if if we were official, if we had an official yeah th yeah don't be frustrated well you, can, you know be frustrated but don't uh, let it get to you so because if we had an official election um would we not that so would we not have an eden bp after an official election i i haven't heard that argument it doesn't even if we had an official election it doesn't solve the fact that we don't have funding, right? So we still have this funding issue. We still have an immediate need and a use for the funds. So if we had an official election, an official board, and say I was the official thing, say that happened, could I not have, like, do I, can I not then sanction this as being an Eden thing? Like, isn't that the, the position that the Satoshi and the board are basically placed into? We're sort of the guys and gals who are running until the next election, plus Dan, right, for, at the beginning, but even once, and once Dan's not the Satoshi anymore, who's running Eden? the people who are currently there. So could they not just make the decision that, okay, we want to have an Eden BP? Well, then what What would you name it? <laughs> like, we would call it the Eden producer. Like, well, why else would we pick a different name? So like what you started for us, thank you, 
a great Eden member who's going out of his way, taking a bunch of shit to do some, set something in advance so that when we are official, we can now nice and seamlessly roll what you've just created into right. the official. Eden. And that was the other reason too, like a hundred percent turn over the EOS account keys and, you know, everything with it. If there's ever an official Eden producer, this thing will shut down immediately. It's not its purpose. All would Why? be turned over to the community. We, we, we would absorb it. it. I Why would we absolutely shut down? Yeah. We would just absorb it. If, if it's a 20% fee and 80% revenue, that's what I asked before on the, on the Monday one is like, what is the ops, the, the pure ops cost to run a BP? Because the whole, uh, it could, that, to me, it's an operations problem, but I'm an operations guy. That's what I was a different mm -hmm. career. I operate things. So to me, it's like, what's the ops cost? that should be a fixed relatively fixed number if we're not producing blocks we don't need those guys on call that makes the operations a whole lot simpler not to say that it's not complicated but it's not as complicated if you're not in the top 21 so let's just rate limit us to never be in the top 21 we commit to that and then we're just going to run this bare bones ish sufficient to get votes from block one bp that generates revenue that we roll into the eden official once it's official and every new leadership that takes over takes those keys and they have the MSIG and they become and it just rolls into the next group. Then you can just run with it. I don't I don't I still don't understand how that's a problem, especially if we just make sure it never ends up in the top 21. Yeah. And to be clear, though, it's not a zombie node because we didn't feel comfortable doing that because uh, we knew that criticism would hit instantly. Um, so I think that was a good read because that definitely would have happened. Um, you know, it's, it fulfills all the requirements um, of B1. It's not garbage hardware. It's, 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 you know, it's experienced people running nodes. And that was the first argument. You know, this was shot down originally because everybody said, no way. It's not going to generate any revenue. It's too expensive to run block producers. I just said, nah, it's not true. I know it's not true. I've talked to some of the highest performing teams in the, in the entire space. They don't believe that it doesn't cost them that much to run their nodes. Um, but you have to be very, very efficient and you have to, you know, have, um, you know, I think they all have proprietary software, I would say for monitoring and other aspects. Um, but whatever, it's just, you know, again, had it partially, I'm sure, you know, I know that, you know, it's essentially a donation of some time and energy on my side. It's definitely a donation of time and energy from block time. Like, you know, um, I have a question is, so. do you think maybe the reason like the reason that block one is voting for it is because block one kind of sees it as the way for them to help Eden. It's like, oh, this is the Eden node that we can vote for. It's named Eden producer. Is that the I mean, it seems to me like that's kind of the primary reason that you structured it that way. Yes, that's definitely another reason. I just, you know, again, it that's it, its purpose. <laughs> You know, it's like Eden producer. It's yeah. producing for Eden to but donate. Like probably, oh, but it's, but, but I guess like you know. ideally it would be better until we have like an officially appointed Eden producer. If we, if we decide to do that as the Eden community, it would be better to just have, you know, these voluntary community run producers that just say, we're going to donate, you know, our, what we receive. The problem then is that, you were having, you're going to have a much more difficult time explaining that to block one to vote for you, et cetera. And they're not going to get a lot of votes because they're not paying voter rewards. So yeah, it's just kind of Do a mess situation and it's easy for people to just drop in and say like, Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> you know, it's like, Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Again, I was trying to make it easy. I'm sorry. I'm not going to go running around marketing my ass off on this thing. That would then become inefficient in in my opinion um you know it would be tons of questions all the time with something like that like i mean we are going to build a website to hopefully you know have a, a resource that clarifies some things and, and cuts down on that um you you know, know. one of the things we talk about a lot in eden is this idea of intention right what are our intentions and then so intentions easy people it's subjective but then it's followed by the action piece, right? So this is the, in Eden, we do an election, we talk about our intentions, and then we're measured by how well we delivered on what we said we do. Like Patrick's on, that's a big thing for him. I think that's a big thing for all of us. So your intention was to create a BP for Eden, to Eden for Eden to generate revenue. To me, that's an honorable, any Eden member, I don't understand how that could be perceived as a problem on its surface. Maybe there's some nuance, but top 21 and who's blah, blah, blah. Okay, get it, nuance. But is 
overarching intention, I see nothing wrong with that. So now the test is, okay, let's see the funds show up in Eden account. That will then validate whether the intention matches with the outcome. And then we can have more discussions about whether it fits or not. But to me, again, intention wise, I think you're, uh, this is a good intention. I, I if, if you, this is an, an actual election, I would have voted for you <laughs> like to, to make this happen. I don't know who, in, who, in fact, if there was an election, it would have been, who would have voted against it? If you, you know, I've got it all set up. This is the cost. This is the breakdown. This is the money we can revenue generate. We've got this from block one. Who's going to say, oh, that's a terrible idea. You're going to try to self fund Eden so we can pay for more projects later. So we can have more of these elections and then get more done. I think you would have done well. Yeah, I, I know. Now, uh, clearly, I'm never running for election um, because I'm going to do unpopular work. I've already kind of <laughs> committed to that. No, I have. And it's also part of why I did it, because frankly, I don't give a shit um, about your votes uh, in that sense. I don't mean that I don't care about the Eden community's will. I'll follow that. But um, I know I. I you know, some people are going to have to be unpopular. Nothing valuable that's contrarian ever gets done with smiles and winks. Like yeah. it doesn't, you're going to, you're going to piss people off. You're going to, you're creating change. Now, again, you know, if this is creating and, and, and someone wants to come to me, I have reached out to Eves because the only person I know might be able to answer this. Like if, um, Hey, you know, Eve is getting feedback. Listen, the top 21's like, take the node down or we will never freaking consider funding you ever. You know, that's right. a good conversation. Yeah, definitely. But if telling me just the little act of it was so offensive that they'll never fund us, bullshit. They were never going to fund us, dude. You're delusional. Never going to fund us. Yeah. That's not how business people operate. That's garbage. That's emotional two year old. Yeah nonsense especially if it's a top 21 because that means we didn't only, lose anything well the only thing we're affecting are their sock puppets yeah so right if, exactly. if that's the case then then what the yeah, yeah exactly i mean what the i don't know there's this whole thing that's playing out there that i feel is kind of a little disingenuous too to some degree like how does how can that all coexist like everybody's aware of this corruption essentially i mean i don't know what else you call it um uh, to some degree, right? I mean, I don't know. If, if prior to the token launch, if if everyone if everyone was aware of the vote buying that was going to take place and the sock bucket puppets from exchange VPs were getting you know VPay, gee, I don't think that would have gone over well. I have a feeling that was kind of sort of against the intent <laughs> of the code, right? So I mean, yeah, code is law is winning, unfortunately, uh, for those who don't like those practices. But uh, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Seems, seems now, as, again, it's not to say like, uh, you know, ideally there'll be conversations and, and compromise and, you know, but I suppose they'll do what they do. But I just don't I don't I don't see how this little piece of movement has suddenly jeopardized future avenues. And then people were definitely jumping to like, well. Uh, you're hearing like bullshit cliches like, well, you know, if, 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 if you settle for less, you know, that's what you'll get. And, you know, if you think small, and I'm like, nobody who who thought anything? Oh, I'm just I, one dickhead on the outside doing something. I'm, I don't represent Eden's vision. I don't I don't I haven't I'm not in charge of it. I'm not the steward of, of Eden's anything, you know, like and it's a it's a, it's just a, a thing. Take it or leave it, man. It's like, the bunk you know, argument anyway. To say thinking small, that's that's such bullshit because anything that's big starts off with a small step. So it's not like you, you, you have this grand vision and then all of a sudden you just take your first step and you've achieved it. Oh, wow, that was amazing. Right. Good, thing, good thing we right. thought big. Like, that's, I don't know who said that and I'm, I'm not trying to call anybody who did, but if you did say that, uh, you need to think about the baby step that leads to the big thing you're trying to attack. I think maybe it's only in blockchain world that people like witness the ICOs of 2017 and everybody's still deluded by the fact that people were dumb enough to give white papers $50 million in 15 minutes. But frankly, folks, that's called a scam. That's called a scam. So regular smart people don't fund scams and what you might think about block one one way or another they're not idiots so they're not yeah. going to fund scams and i don't think the top 21 block producers are scammers or into scams so you know they're not going to fund it 
I don't know where anybody thought they were going to get $20 million annually in funding from the, from the jump without any track record. I just don't know why anybody thinks that would ever happen. You know? Yeah. When moon One, a small step leading toward a bigger thing. Um, this does sort of set a precedent. If, if Kevin follows through and votes for this BP, um, I asked him today in telegram, would, would uh, B1 consider adding BPs run by Eden members to their voting criteria as well? And he said, I don't see why not, but specific uh, circumstances matter. Um, so it's, it's possible that this has opened up a conversation and, and maybe we'll be setting a precedent um, where Eden, Eden members who can maybe meet a specific criteria that they have uh, who are running BPs may also get the support of um, of block one and also as a, as kind of a follow-up um i don't i don't know dom if you have any information about this but i'm wondering um what do we have going on right now to sort of uh establish a a block producer alliance um is is there a conversation already going on among the block producers and, and maybe with dan and the clarion team um to create an alliance that uh, is collaborative or works together with, with Eden? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not privy to any, I'm not aware of any. All I know was early on, definitely that Dan, um, you know, was, was kind of talking to some and I think doing a little back channeling with Eves. What I mean by back channeling is just, you know, he was getting their take and communicating stuff from Dan. And then there was a, a meeting arranged uh, where Dan kind of laid out what he thought was the case for Eden and the funding and, and kind of his governance proposal, right? I mean, that, that's kind of how this really started publicly was the proposal he put in eoscommunity.org forums. Um, but I honestly haven't heard much after that. Um, I definitely heard feedback, you know, throughout the community that, that there was going to need to be a lot more work in that meeting and that there was some discussion that the block producers uh, were saying more positive during the meeting, but then afterwards, as they maybe had time to digest, not so much, uh, but you know, that's, that's hearsay. Yeah. And, and in fairness, if I've said this before, if I was a BP, I would be funding Eden right now. I wouldn't be turning on uh, inflation, uh, right? I, I don't think we've proven ourselves yet. And that's why uh, the last call we had on Monday, uh, like Aaron, he's on now, we were talking about having maybe just like a, an actual election with official members with no prize, just a, just an actual official election with the assumption that we had a $10 million prize at the end. And let's see what proposals come up. Let's see how, you know, and then because then we can take this sort of, that's sort of the pitch that becomes whatever makes it to the top. Those are the true, like, if, like, this is what Eden can do if we're funded. Here you go, BPs. What do you think? Here you go, Block One. What do you think? We've actually run through the motions now. We did it serious. It's all recorded. We just didn't have funding. Do you want to fund us? Like, it's chick, you know, chicken and egg. Do we wait for funding? Then we have the official election? Or do we just suck it up, have the official election for nothing, and then try to use that to get funding? Yeah, I mean, which is interesting. Um... And I'm just taking the approach that I, that I know is, is proven to work, which is demonstrate ROI. Yep. So with whatever you have, it's like when you're a startup, you make your MVP. You might only have 30 customers, but if all of those 30 customers with your existing costs at that level are already profitable, that bodes well for scaling, right? Wow. You know, you don't have any economies of scale. You don't have any way to really get cost savings. Jeez, you know, wow, you must have a pretty good product. You know, people are paying 50, your gross margins, you know, $20. Wow, it's 40%. Yeah. Okay, you know, that works. That's what I was thinking. It's like, this will help us build a resume. And the bigger, you know, the, the bigger the project, you know, the bigger the resume, right? You, you're trying to get as close as you can to show, like you're saying, and whether we do that with a mock election to kind of generate more authentic ideas, I think that's pretty cool, personally. Um, that could be a great way to first 
have us all put our heads together to create generate proposals or bring forth the ones many people I'm sure have been thinking about for a long time. Yeah. Have them come through. I mean, Hey, maybe it all comes up with like, I want a Neos ice cream truck and I'm going to eat as much ice cream as possible. That's what I would do with my funding. And if that wins, Hey, now we know quit, go yeah. home. Look. Nothing to see here. And you but know. this is where this is where like the guys like like Gray Mass, right, that have a ton of stuff that they can do and they've got ideas. And a lot of the other projects that have some great ideas, we haven't heard them yet because it's a lot of work, first of all, to put these proposals together. It is it's no small feat for these guys to who do a bunch anyway that are underfunded to then put mm -hmm. together this well presented and presentable budget OPEX and actual proposal. Yeah, so researched, you know, but I mean, if it's it, done we, well, exactly it's a lot of work. But we can do it as a mock. We don't need all that on-chain stuff yet. We can do it just like we're going to do on Saturday, right? Where you're kind of running it. That could still function just perfectly well for this sort of, you know, big kick at if we had big funding, what would the end result look like? But uh, hey, I, I got to hop, guys. Uh, this has been awesome. I really wish I could stay. I, I've got a, another board meeting here. I got to go on for this uh, community charity thing that I'm a part of. So well, you uh, go, thanks, Mr. Don. Fancy Pants. I, it's it's part of my uh i've been with nine to 12 year olds for the, this week right doing it's part a, of your uh, prison parole. Camp, so it's, yeah no i'm actually your... loving it i could be a teacher i never thought i could i wasn't sure right i got a couple young kids but actually it's not so bad these kids are that's pretty cool we're doing i mean we're playing with lego and making towers out of stuff so it's actually pretty cool i did five years with the cub scouts it was awesome five, yeah. a, a week every summer as a volunteer it was great good man yeah. all right okay. thanks well, chris later, guys. yeah bye um so yeah let me just let me take it home um why don't you know just turn it over to you guys i've said enough um but you know just floor is open anybody want to take a stab or have anything else too we don't have to stay on this topic um certainly discuss other things okay Got Probably. Go ahead. Jumping. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, actually, I think it's a mixture. I mean, why it's been so much discussed and whatever and where it comes from. I know my own reaction when you first, uh, was it a, what, one or two days back now, uh, you kind of advised us in Aiden on EOS <clears throat> about, uh, okay, you have it up and ready and it's going to start up, et cetera, et cetera. And I made a small comment. I don't know if you saw it, but it was good and everything and everything. But my first question there was a little bit, who is legally signing for it? Because I also got the impression that it was Eden, Eden on AOS that was putting up a, a, pro, a, a BP and similar. But then within a day or so, you sent the links and what you posted on the forum, AS community forums. And once you read through that, no problems. I mean, it was it's pretty clear spelled out, and that's you know it was not Eden that was putting it up. It was this new setup, and similar. And what you described there was pretty straightforward. The problem is then not everyone bothered to go and read both. Yeah, things. I got that impression. That's also a little, but again, that's why I was a little frustrated because it was clear some people hadn't. So again, you didn't even take the time to go to read it. You're criticizing it, which means you're 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 projecting a nefarious purpose here you're projecting that i've stepped out of line you may not be saying it flat out but that's what you're saying by not even going to find out the facts assuming negative things assuming that i acted on behalf of the community and and all, all you know whatever associated stuff so yeah i appreciate that but i wanted to ask that too i because i wondered early on like well, maybe my post sucked. That's highly possible. <laughs> and also the thing is, you moved fast. I mean, you were told, we, we, this was discussed for a few weeks, and you said, oh, I'm going to do, I might do this, I do this, I do this, and within a week, you have it up and running. Everyone gets surprised and say, what the heck happened, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, you caught a lot of people probably off guard as well. Mm. And, so, and uh, you know, whoa, what happened? But, hey, that's, a, you know, they should, in that case, discuss it or dispute, uh, dispute it or whatever early on, you know, and not just wait and for a fait accompli and then uh, start arguing without even reading up on it. But, I mean, we see that in so many different places, but, uh, I mean, I'm pretty all right with it. Another issue a little bit is also these 
uh, various, you know, how much it's going to cost and how much it's going to give value and similar, but that can be all kind of different reasons because of a big range of uh, not being able to make uh, make any EOS profit or not, you know, so I leave that unsaid, but it, it gives a little bit of fluency there that people are not 100% sure maybe, but, but otherwise I think it's a good thing and uh, the Eden name and similarly, I have no major issues with that. Once we have an Eden election done and similarly, then we have a board and similar, and then, okay, discussions might lead one way or the other, but then, you know, we should be settled down. For now, we're all just individuals working and trying to do the best. I leave it at that. Yeah, thanks for the feedback, for sure. You know, um, I, I, I'm, you know, I get it. I'm not against the discussion at all. The discussion's great, uh, you know, but yeah, it's really, I, I never heard anybody talking when the discussion came up a couple of weeks ago that this was going to somehow jeopardize future Eden funding. That wasn't mentioned. All I heard was no way can't be done. And if it is done, unless you do a total zombie node, uh, you know, there won't be much money. Well, I knew that wasn't true from my research. So I found a team that was willing to do it. It's not a zombie node because I personally didn't want to set that example. Um, and there you have it. So, but again, it's pretty much, you know, it's, it's, it's our money. You know, if it never generates any revenue, it never generates any revenue. I imagine we'll probably leave it up for about a month. If it doesn't get into a paid position, it certainly doesn't look like it's heading that way. Probably take it down, you know, um, yeah. Without trying to, you know, go to the polar extremes of zombie node and awesome BP, because that, that's not how I've tried to steer the conversation. But I mean, t from some people's perspectives, this isn't like what you're setting up isn't enough to to operate a BP. Um, I mean, for reference, we have somewhere between 20 and 30 EOS servers running right now. We're, we're a standby BP. We do a lot more than a lot of the top 21 do, but that's kind of the expectation some people do have of what BPs should be doing. They are the producers of blocks and they should provide access to those production resources through APIs. So it's like Nation is one of those people and they're one of the people that said, you know, you might underestimate the costs. Um, I could point out like EOS Rio or Sweden or some of these other um, organizations that also run these huge complex infrastructure operations to benefit the network. And they do this as a VP. So in their view, this is, this is what a VP is. You know, that's, I think when you hear people talking about the overhead and the other things that are required to kind of maintain really robust operations, that's, that's probably a, Part of what they're talking about with without really getting into it so you know some of the conversations may push it so that it seems like you know people are trying to label this a zombie node because we have those and that sucks they, they don't offer anything at all like they probably don't even have nodes running um mm -hmm. and that's not what this is um but on that spectrum there's there's a wide array of you know what people run as a block producer and it's completely subjective. There's no set guidelines. We have block one's guidelines, but that's just for their, their voting. You know, mm -hmm. it's not, that's not everybody's voting criteria. So it's a strange yeah. spectrum and telegram loses some of that nuance, but um, hopefully nothing I said came off trying to label it as a zombie node. No, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't that I was just yeah. making it clear that we're not a zombie node because yep. we decided not to be, we're, encouraged uh yeah. to not not worry about it um but i didn't think that was okay myself yeah because again i'm you know doing this is sort of like a a private business who wants to yep. donate to eden i have interest in eos i don't think anybody who aspires to take any revenue from the network and theoretically be in what's called a standby position because it's the only place you get paid shouldn't be ready to stand by <laughs> i mean it's yeah. kind of the nature of it now Right. You know, Aaron, you guys are, you know, you're, you're considered, right. One of the highly technical, highly proficient, highly contributing teams. But the other argument to that could be right. 
is that that's your pitch too, right? Mm -hmm. Your pitch is like, vote for us because we do provide, you know, APIs. And I know what that's all about. I Trust me, I know how expensive they are. We ran, had yeah. to run our own at Werbly. <laughs> you know, I saw that bill every month. Uh, and that was not for a network that does uh, a lot of volume like EOS mainnet. So, you know, all of these things are important. But if you think about how it would round out in my world, even if you had a node or, or few running like this, but then nodes as you're describing, that this would be the pitch. It's like, well, this one just giving directly back to this community organization. It's funding that that community organization is hopefully doing good. So that's another benefit to the network. You know, Aaron and Gray Mass, they're doing this. This is providing us with a higher level of technical proficiency, whether it's performance or security or whatever. Wow, that's good too. And you have some kind of array. Right. Um, but, you know, uh, nothing comes without controversy. So, yeah. Eh, and it's, it it's it hard in Telegram too, because, you know, we'll, a few people will be having a conversation kind of based with a certain set of assumptions. And then somebody will come in and say something just wild. And it sets <laughs> off this little fire of just all these other crazy ideas that weren't really part of the conversation up until that point. So it's, it's rough. <laughs> I think part of that was again, probably chose the wrong channel. Uh, yeah. At least internally, I think the bulk of Eden members, or let's put it this way, the Eden members who probably would have chimed in, we're most likely already privy to the history of the conversation for the most part. Um, and, or I'd like to think would have asked if they weren't. Um, and, and we probably could have had a little better discussion, uh, but eh, you know, we're going to, we're going to figure stuff out. You know, I mean, yep. I think still the best part of all of it is the engagement. Um, I didn't yeah. see a lot of engagement, you know, a couple months ago. So for better or for worse, people are talking about it, whether Eden's the solution, you know, whether this is a shit move or not, I hope it's for somebody to do something better, plan and simple, whatever that is. Um, Cause this is not going to, you know, pay my bills or, you know, put my kids through college or any of that shit. So, um, you know, please, you know, uh, come up with something better. That would be great. Yeah. And I think though, like the way the night kind of ended last night with, even Kevin just framing it very clearly. He's like, you know, we support this individual BP operation whose kind of goal is to donate money into Eden, you know, into this community. And it's like, well, yeah, when you just put it that way, it, it makes it a lot simpler. And it, a lot of the comments, I think specifically when I was getting involved, it was the people commenting about how, you know, the this was the Eden BP and right. then they'd go off on tangents in that direction. And it was like, well, you know, it's not maybe Eden that's, BP. yeah, it's that context. Yeah. And a lot of it was lost over the last couple of days in conversation, but it's good to see it looping back around. Yeah, we'll get there. And, yep. you know, you know, from being um, public, if you will, or at least within this community, now uh, outside of, EOS telegram. Nobody probably knows who we are whatsoever, but uh, you know, you do run an organization and you're someone who's one of the public um, facing people, um, you know, and you're well liked, but uh, I'm sure that you'd still say that, you know, if you want to try to do something be in the public, it's just, it's just going to be hard. So you have to be kind of ready yeah. for that. Yep. You got to be ready for the pushback and explaining mm -hmm. and justifying things and like, yeah, sometimes people will say something and it's like, okay, let's unpack that and then figure out what's wrong underneath that assumption. And then you got to right. build it back up and then you agree all of a sudden mm -hmm. it's, it's a process and a headache at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> it is. No, oh, cool. Hey, yeah, thanks right? for showing up. No? Who is that? Go ahead. Hey, uh, and that's with you all here. Cool. Uh, See, I just want to put my take on the uh, proposed uh, BP. Cool. Uh, to be honest, uh, from the beginning, like uh, when the network launched, like most of the Genesis BP, they were uh, technically uh, strong. Where they have the facility and everything. And they are communicating a lot with the community. Like they are engaging in what is the issues we are facing or proposal. But 
uh, with the time pass. Uh, now we might, I am not the one to judge how technical they are song uh, running the network now, but I can see clearly there is a lack of communication. Uh, here where I see that if we gonna pay a standby PPs, at least they are in the community engaged. So if the network reaches in a stage where the community wanna go a direction, even if the network gonna get slower or uh, funkies or whatever, the, the community have the chance to swap up all of the 21 PPs with the strong PPs that they are uh, supporting the community direction. Like, I think this is how can be much more dependence rather than uh, only counting on the, P, the PPs to change the direction of the network where they will say, no, we are only running at the business and uh, we want to have higher incentive and uh, to cover up the cost. But we as the token holders, since we are in delegated proof of stake, we have the right, we have the voice uh, to speak out and say, this is the issues we are facing and we need to be fixed. Even if we need to take them out, let's say as of now, if we wanna take them all out, do we have 21 up and running ready for to swap, 100% guaranteed? and they will support the community. No, most likely we don't have the choice. Maybe we can push till we get the 15 to get the approval for uh, anything uh, proposed. So I think the direction is it is not bad to have both ways. We have when we need the network to be up and running and fast. Uh, so we have those PPs as running the network and we have a standby that they are supporting the community and they get paid for that support that they give the community, even if they are not that strong technically, right? But even when it's slowed down, like what you see now, uh, for example, the shutdown of mining in the Bitcoin in China, right? The network is still going, right? It is the same for us, but we have the power to change it, even if it's gonna, uh, it is almost like we have a broken hand or whatever, like but we keep going. Uh, this is my take. Sorry if I didn't deliver it clearly or. No, you did a great job. You did a great job, I, I think. Um, you know, I, I think I got the picture. You know, that's hopefully what, you know, I think the concept of any decentralized community is supposed to be, you know, this idea that the one way or another, maybe not always instantly, maybe not always perfectly, but the general, say, will, consensus, if you will, the human consensus, social consensus of the token holders or the businesses, which are almost always token holders too, but, you know, utilizing the network, the stakeholders uh, will will ultimately get manifest. And if it, it isn't happening, usually that's when people want change, right? That's when they want new governance or different rules, possibly, um, or whatever that may be. And so, you know, uh, I, I, to some degree, that's that's really all that we're trying to accomplish with Eden. Uh, we, uh, at least for me, uh, there's a vacuum of, uh, I, I think, community-led initiatives. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, and, and there's not... Um, a lot of, uh, I think, value creation um, that that we're kind of collectively contributing as a community to, you know, the features of the network, the exposure of it to new users, you know, all these things that I think we're all pretty uh, in agreement on for the most part. And I, I think EOS is too good. I'll give you a great example. I had a consulting meeting today. Uh, where, of course, yet another project who is going to build all these NFTs on ETH, on Ethereum, and, you know, and it's unfortunate because these guys are legit. I mean, they do massive uh, sales of ranches throughout the United States of America, multi-million dollar deals. Uh, they're ready to go. You know, they're going to be doing these uh, partial ownership, which I think is wonderful. They've got a great mission. They really want, you know, their whole thing is like, uh, many people who probably haven't followed this aren't aware. I know I wasn't, but the last 20 years, uh, there's been 
a massive amount of money made in the acquisition of these properties, specifically ranch properties in the U.S. by, of course, the elites, the richest uh, 0.1%. And the returns are annualized at like 40, 50%. I mean, it's crazy how much money has been made. And, you know, the average individual, you can't do that. You know, you, don't, you can't afford the down payment and financing of a $6 million property, can you? But you can afford to crowdfund one, you know, with 10,000 other of your fellow, you know, investors, citizens, whatever. But even cooler is they've got this whole regenerative agriculture movement as part of it. So they're specifically targeting ranches that want to go through this kind of regenerative agriculture um, transformation. A, to produce more revenue, uh, B, for the environmental impact, um, and then C, there's an element that most of them are doing where when you buy your fractional ownership, you typically get some kind of access to the ranch too, like, like a timeshare, right? You, you are kind of an actual part owner, whether it's you can go there and hunt. Some of them have the ability for you to go there and stay, um, you know, overnight in you know their 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 cabins or stuff like that and so you know it just seems awesome but they are so mistaken about eos you know i'd answer all the standard stuff still oh my god you only have 21 nodes you're not decentralized uh-huh um you know uh uh what was the other stuff about my god stop blowing up my phone um all of this um oh can you even make nfts you know, can you, can you do that? You know, is there any way you can actually do that? You know, um, it was just, you know, I mean, almost like stupid questions, right? Like I, you know, and of course I'm not going to say that. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to educate them, but just, just an example guys of real world. I'm a business person. I do consulting. This is what I face. I'm sure Aaron and others have similar stories. You know, people get asked. So, uh, anyway, it's just, um, yeah. I mean, we've got the best technology in the world. I truly believe that. And it's just, it's sad. It shouldn't be this way. So, yeah. Yeah. But that's a lot I of mean, upside, right? Agreed. I think a lot of it is, is that it's just not delivered the last mile. That's, mm -hmm. that feels like something I said, I've been saying now for a couple of years. It's, like we do have some of the best tech that's the most flexible and does things in a much better way than these existing networks that are seeing adoption. It's just, we, we really need to have something like Eden that helps build the ecosystem up around it to deliver it that last mile, whether it's wallets or tools for developers to use or standards that they should follow mm -hmm. to like play nicely in the ecosystem. And we, as EOS need that individually for a network and then even bigger picture EOS IO needs some of that as you know for the other chains that are in this sphere yeah um, it's we're close and you know we're making progress and every year it's better and better but we have some of the best stuff out there yeah I mean there's no doubt I and mean, I was trying to explain to these guys like the whole gas thing and just how almost just ridiculous that is to us who are used to, you know, working with projects over here. It's like, we don't, we don't, we never think that way. I never have to think about the fact that like, you know, Oh, you know, Oh my God, what's the transaction fees going to cost? You know, we just, we just don't, um, they're just there. So, um, yeah, it's, um, it's definitely different. Um, but, you know, I couldn't argue with, like you were saying, I couldn't argue with the, if I'm being honest, yeah, you're gonna have more infrastructure. You know, there's, there's more tools that are already built to do some of the things you want to do. There's a bigger developer community. Um, there's more like consulting firms and stuff that uh, will, that's one group they were talking about working with, which I wasn't personally impressed by, but you know, they're available, they're out there. So yeah. You know, yeah. And yeah. most of the really talented developers that we have in our space are still trying to slowly build out like the core parts that we still need. And I, I can't tell you how many like opportunities I've turned down to do work because like I look at what they want to do and then I'm like, well, for that to be successful, you're going to need 
the stuff that we're working on right now, (laughs) you know? So it's like, I, I can't take your job on because I wouldn't be able to complete it until I complete the work that I'm already doing right now. (laughs) Right. Right. It's, it's a weird situation. And I mean, we should be pretty hopeful that both Eden and systems like Pomelo and some of these other initiatives are really starting to gain some momentum and some excitement around them. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to like knock out kind of del- this nice package and these groups that are looking for opportunities, like they have an idea, they want to build it. We'll be able to present them with a much better, like here's a platter of really cool things you can use to do exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Cause right now, typically the answer is, well, you're going to have to build it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tall order to fill. It is no doubt. Especially because there's enough friction, as you well know, too, just with the, the newness of the technology and the, the bleeding edge aspects. I mean, it, it comes just any blockchain network with certain shortcomings still, especially when you're trying to integrate it with, you know, standard kind of web 2.0 stuff. So, you know, um, yeah, can be a big impact. All right. Anybody else? Um, I, I got to go. My phone is my 15 year old son who texts one word texts. I think the younger people get, the less words they put in a sentence and the more texts they send. That's a, that's a theory. I'm just saying. I'm always like, you didn't have to send me 10 texts. That was one sentence. One text would have worked. You need to write a bot that analyzes like <laughs> telegram messages and then tries to estimate their age based I on bet, how much I'm they write. I'm telling you, uh, Aaron, there's a correlation here. I there guarantee it. Yep. I think so. I think we could get like at least generation. Like, oh, that was a generation X telegram <laughs> message. And that was Gen Y. And that was millennials. All right, everybody. <laughs> thank you. Go ahead. Any closing thoughts? Yeah. Um, I just heard about this initiative. So um, just joining in the Monday meeting, but from the, um, you know, the critique that you mentioned about BPs might not, you know, will never uh, contribute. I know those, that's not a real one or anything else. I think, uh, you know, the more I hear it, I'm, I'm loving this idea because, um, it, you know, and if it's implemented properly, Right. It's uh, it's great. I would love to see which BPs don't contribute. I would actually like to see if BP uh, B1 is going to contribute or not. It's going to be a big test for them too. So um, it's ballsy, but it's 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 good. Uh, um, you know, it's you brought it to a point here. So it's a great test, I think, for everyone. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, certainly. Well, we, we've, we're, we're gonna, yeah, we've, we've got a you know, conversation started. So to, to be continued. So yeah. Certainly see how it plays out. All right, everybody. Thank you for your time. Uh, next week, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get a guest or two. We have a couple candidates. Uh, Chris and I should be back at the normal time, which is uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. I always forget the UTC. I think it's like 16 or 17. Um, But yeah, we're going to keep it up. Uh, Chris will probably have something Saturday in the webinar. And then Monday is, of course, the open mic. And that's definitely an opportunity for people to, uh, you know, to to continue the discussion. So thank you all uh, having the live folks join in is huge. It's really helpful. I'm not a professional podcaster, neither is Chris. Um, so it gives us a more natural feel. And, and we're doing this for you guys. We're doing this for Eden. It's to, to promote and, and, and hopefully educate and communicate. So have a good one. I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye. Thank you.